News at 6 on WUTR. Welcome back. Herkimer County has seen a high stray cat population, but now that issue is even more concerning. Eyewitness News reporter Jamie DeLine is live in Dodgeville to tell us more. Good evening, Jamie. Good evening, Grace. A feral cat tested positive for rabies in the village of Dodgeville. And now concerned community members are at a forum here at the high school to learn more about this deadly disease. It was part of a colony of cats of about 12. Um, so we are taking measures to take care of that situation. The infected cat in Dodgeville became aggressive, a common attribute of the disease. It could present itself in a multitude of different ways. So it's any abnormal behavior in that animal that would be a concern. Besides the obvious of, um, you know, uh, change in their gait of walk, you know, maybe them becoming paralyzed, not being able to eat or drink, and um, then eventually they would die. Some infected animals, including those who are wild, may even become more friendly. However, it's best to always stay away from an animal that you don't know to limit the risk of getting bitten and contracting the disease through their saliva. In a human, if they're potentially exposed and there's no treatment, the rabies virus can be in a human's body anywhere from um, two weeks to two years. If you think you or your pet may be exposed, it's best to contact the county health department for treatment that could potentially be life-saving. Vaccinating your pets is the best means of preventing um, risk to rabies with humans. They are the bridge between wildlife and us. Um, and in New York State, um, all dogs, cats, and ferrets need to be vaccinated against rabies. Ferrets must receive a rabies shot every year, and for dogs and cats, they should have a rabies shot every three years. And if you think you see an animal that could possibly have rabies, it's best to contact your local police department. Reporting live in Dodgeville, I'm Jamie DeLine for Eyewitness News.